One thing, and you can tell me, that seemed to like turn around your attitude in a, a pretty significant way was a conversation you actually had with Michelle Kwan, which I could write a book on how fascinating that this was just because I just find that interaction that you guys had so revealing about just like what's fun and awesome about life. Well, yeah. I mean, I just have to say, I have always felt a connection to Michelle Kwan. And now I'm curious and I feel like I'm going to need to ask her if she feels the same way. But I mean, just looking back, I, I was 13. She was 15 when we started competing against each other. We were just babies. We were skating at the height of figure skating's popularity. We were both favorites at the 1998 Olympic Games. You know, she knew what it was like to wake up at 5 a.m. and train every day. And we just have this really, I think, unique period of time in skating that we shared together. And I feel like I've always tried to fill you in of like, Todd, this is what it was like. And, you know, I tell my friends, but, you know, she's really the only one that knows what it feels like, like I did skating out to center ice that night. But I saw an Instagram post that she put up announcing the birth of her baby girl. And I read the caption and I just felt like, maybe she might have had, you know, a similar journey. Who knows? And I just picked that up from her caption and said, you know what, I'm just going to DM her. And I just reached out and I just said, hey, like, is there any way we can chat? Just wanted to talk to you about something. So we did. And we had a two hour conversation. And like you said, just reconnecting in this way. Of course, we've seen each other at events and whatnot, but reconnecting in this really vulnerable way for two hours was so crazy and so beautiful in a way. She gave me great advice and beautiful stories. And, you know, I think at this point, I was doubting myself of what I should do next. And because there's so many different avenues you can take. And what's so funny is she just had the same view that I did of what the next step should be. And that it felt like it gave me permission. It felt like it gave me confidence to believe in my, you know, gut and that that's what I should do. And it was just so freeing. I, I don't know what the comparison is. It almost felt like the beginning of like the Terminator movie when <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's like released and he's got his like laser eye. It's yeah. like you were, in, you emerged from that conversation like as a new person, like you went from the down in the dumps, I don't know what to do, Tara, to like- Confident. I I really yeah. became confident in my choice of what I wanted to do next. And I think that's, again, like you were saying, we, I mean, Michelle obviously is an incredibly hard worker and driven and has that competitive spirit. And I think what I was thinking about next steps, I started to think like, Tara, are you crazy? Like, how, how are you going to keep doing this? Or is that the right thing to do? And then for Michelle to, you know, cut me off and back it up and be like, yeah, that's what you should do. I was like, yeah, that's what I should do. <laughs> and it's not even, you know, the motivation or the get up and go again. It was just also just feeling heard and feeling like you get it. You get it. And I think I can do this. Yeah. And the other thing that I just find so awesome about that conversation is, again, I kind of touched on this, but it's like, it's what li is so cool about life is like two people who were so young and had this rivalry and this competitiveness and people cared so much about that. You know, you still get like hate social media things from like Michelle Kwan fans. And if they only knew that you guys were connecting in such a special way over something that actually mattered, not to say clearly your careers and, you know, Michelle had an amazing, you know, legendary career on her, uh, you know, herself. And it's important, obviously, athletic accomplishment is super important. And, you know, I'm sure you wouldn't give up what you accomplished back then for anything. But the point is like, it was sports and it was one thing. And this is a different thing. This is like, in a way, like real life. This is like right. having kids and being happy in life. And you were, you're both adults now and you can have this conversation and she can give you the sage advice that helps motivate you. And I just thought it was just really cool. It just like makes me giggle because inside here I am like, you know, texting Michelle during treatments and giving her updates. And, you know, again, it just, that conversation, and we talked a lot. We talked about, you know, like you said, motivation, but we talked about almost every area of this. And she gave me such beautiful advice of, you know, options and ideas. And I don't know, it was special. <laughs>